Hey, what's good, YouTube? This tutorial um, uh, is um, uh, going to be um, for patching uh, Windows 7 themes or Windows Vista. Not sure if it does Windows Vista, but I'm for sure it's for 7. Could be for Vista, not sure. Alright. And um, uh, get those themes working so you can download any of them now. Most should work with this. Alright. First thing you're going to want to do is get a program called Universal Patcher, Theme Patcher. Alright, I already have it installed, and I'll provide a link in the description for you to download, and it will not be a survey site, because I'm not a dick. So I spelled universal wrong. Universal theme patcher. Once you download the file, open it up. Alright, you got 64-bit or 86. Alright, you just do the 64-bit. Alright, and just do English. Now, when you get this window pops up, there will be three files that need to be patched. I've already done this, so all my files are patched. Once you do that, hit yes. Alright, now there will be three files that need to be patched. There will be a patch option should be um, uh, open. In this case, I've already done it, so all these restores are open for me, but the patches aren't. So, um, uh, each time you hit patch, it should apply successfully. Be a message saying that. If that's not the case, I don't know what's wrong. You might want to try the... Uh, 86 bit, and if that don't work, then I don't know what the fuck's wrong. All right, all right. Once those are patched, there'll be um uh, another uh, window that will be um required you to uh, restart your computer. Click yes if you want these changes to be applied. All right, then log back on, and we'll continue from there. All right, I'm gonna close this because this ain't needed anymore. Okay. But I should. Alright. Now, once you're done with that, uh, let's go to a uh, wonderful site called www.virtualcustoms.net. Alright. Now, this is a um, uh, real cool site because um, there's um, uh, not even not even free uh, themes, but. Um, uh, they have some unique ones, they're not just um, ones you can make by yourself. These are um, uh, pretty advanced. Alright, make an account. Uh, you want to go to members. I'm already logged in, so. Just, there'll be an option to say register. I'm already logged in, so it's not. I can just connect if I want, but I'm not going to. Alright, once you register, confirm your email, and now we will go to the home page to show you what happens when you log in. Alright, once you log in, scroll down, and you're going to want to go to Windows, Styles, and Themes. Sorry, mouse is kind of fucked up. Alright, Windows, Styles, and Themes. Click that. Once you do that, scroll down, and... For, as you can see, they got not only Windows 7, but they got Windows Vista and XP themes. Alright, I'm um, using Windows 7, so whatever version of Windows you're using, um, I would recommend going to that instead of what I'm doing. So, open yours. Alright, now once you click that, there's um, uh, a bunch of categories for these themes. Let's go to. I'm going to try Exile. Alright. No. This seems not that great. I could be wrong, though. Looks are deceiving. Nah. Yeah. It's okay. Could be better. Yeah. Didn't look like much effort in it, but enough of that. Enough neglecting, let's uh, install this one. Let's look for the uh, file attachment. There's another file attachment, or I can't find it, so let's find a different one. Here we go. This one looks better, I think. Could be better. Uh, 
again, can't find the attachment, so, uh, fuck him, uh, what the hell, why not, alright, I'm just gonna download this, this really weird looking one, There's gonna be there'll be either be an attachment or a link. This in this case there's a link description, so and I gotta wait. So while I'm waiting I'm gonna pause this. Alright, now that's done, you're gonna want kick WinRAR to open these files. Or if there's an installer, then you don't have to worry, but um, uh, in this case, we're not using an installer because I'm showing you the patch here. Alright, extract the files. Wait for that to be complete. Close that. Now, once you do that, open the folder. Alright. Uh, click the folder again if you have to. Excuse me. Anyways, next thing you're gonna want to do is go to your computer. Oh, hard disk drive and C drive or whatever drive you have. Down to Windows. Resources. Themes. Found the um, a zip file or rock file. Those installers actually work great, but I want to show you. Alright. Now you want to open the folder. Now, if you open the folder, there should, the Steam folder, there should be um, a, a uh, theme file and a folder file. Alright. I like those two. And drag them onto your theme folder. Now, if I were to click Annihilator. It should work. Some don't, most do. And what do you know it worked? Looks kinda cool. Anyways, wow, I got a weird way of closing everything. Should probably fix that, but it kind of kind of sweet. I'm gonna change it back to my theme. Mm. All right. Once you do that, everything should be running smoothly. And now I'm gonna enjoy your theme and enjoy the patch. All right. Um, that concludes this tutorial. Um, this is no such thing as security and opposer. Hopefully this helps you. Um, you can subscribe. Up, totally up to you. Don't care. Really don't. Alright. Thanks for watching. Alright. Peace YouTube.